In the last video, we saw that primitive variables hold fundamental values that have a predefined type. Now, we will look at the other type of variables, the reference variables. Let us consider a class robot that has a method do my homework. Now, in order to get the robot to do my homework, we will first need to create an object of robot class and then call the method do my homework on the object. To create an object, we will write the statement robot robot var is equal to new robot. This will first create an object of robot in memory and then assign the object to a variable robot var of type robot. Robot is a class or we can say it is a user defined type. The name of the variable is robot var and it points to an object of type robot. But what is the value of the variable here? What does it hold? Does it hold the object itself or something like a pointer to the object? There is actually no such thing as an object variable. There is only an object reference variable. The robot var doesn't hold the object. The object is somewhere in memory. The robot var just holds the bits that represent a way to access the object. It could be a memory address of the object or something more complicated that depends on the JVM. In Java, we don't know what is inside a reference variable. We do know that it represents one and only one object. Now, using the object reference variable robotware, we can call the method do my homework by using the dot operator like this. We can think of the reference variable as a remote control to the object. We use it to get the object to do something. We now know what is the type and value of the reference variable. Let's talk about the size. All primitive types have a fixed size, but since reference variable is just a way to get to an object, the bit size is not relevant. Let us now revisit the steps of object declaration, creation and assignment. The statement first declares a reference variable, then allocates space for a new robot object in memory and then assigns the robot object to the reference variable robot var. Let's recap. In this video, we learned that there is no such thing as an object variable. There is only an object reference variable. An object reference variable holds bits that represent a way to access an object in memory. It does not hold the object itself but it holds something like a pointer using which we can access the object. An object reference variable is first declared, an object is created and assigned to the reference variable. 